Heads up, 20 ups. Um, so this week is rent week, and because I was at my sister's wedding all weekend, and then got back yesterday and had to go to work, I didn't know until this morning that today was rent week. Therefore, I don't have a lot of time to plan a rant, and I could really use kind of a week off. So I am uploading a rant that I filmed a number of, perhaps, months ago for the first, for the other collab channel that I was a part of, so please don't get mad at me for reusing a rant. You would have heard it at some point anyway. Um, I know that you would have liked to hear one of my other rants as we've talked about little things that kind of set me off. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is what you're getting today. Enjoy. Uh, this is pretty typical. Think about who composed Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Harry Potter's 1 through 3, Jaws, Hook, Catch Me If You Can, Jurassic Park, Tom Sawyer, Minority Report. Who composed them? Why do they all sound the same? If you guessed John Williams, you'd be correct. Why do I hate John Williams? Because all of his music sounds the same! All of it! It's stupid triplet after triplet after triplet in all of them. Producers don't hire John Williams to create a score that actually adds to their movie anymore. They hire John Williams for a John Williams score. And that is crap. That is utter crap. We expect our actors to pick different roles, to expand their breadth of character, to be able to show us that they can do a comedy and an action and a drama and a romance. But why are we okay to let the composer sit there and write the same freaking rhythm over and over and over and over again. It doesn't make any sense. All of this stems from last night at the Oscars. They were opening up to present for Best Original Score. They play themes of people who've won Best Original Score in the past. Just about three of the four clips that I was able to identify were John Williams. Do you know how long? This is the 83rd Academy Awards. If it's been going on for 83 years. Why must three of four have to be John Williams? Why? I went to Wikipedia and I looked up who has won in the past and was shocked. And why don't we hear bits of these when they're doing a compilation? Because everybody knows John Williams. I don't want to go into a theater, sit down, hear the opening bit and go, oh, now I'm not going to be able to pay attention to the music because to the movie because I'm going to be so freaking upset with John Williams the whole time. I'm going to sit here going, why are there triplets? I, I'm, I'm a musician. Triplets serve their purpose. All of his music sounds the same. I hate it because I love these movies. I love, I love Star Wars. I love Indiana Jones. I love Jaws. The score is supposed to be this whole extra character. It adds to the movie in every way imaginable. And then, and it doesn't add. It doesn't add. So, back to earlier. I looked up who has won in the past. Best original score. Why aren't we hearing clips of these? Uh, the Wizard of Oz, Annie Gets Your Gun, An American in Paris, High Noon, Oklahoma, Bridge on the River Quiet, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Ben-Hur, Lawrence of Arabia, The Lion in Winter, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, The Godfather Part Two, Chariots of Fire, Emma, Titanic, Life is Beautiful, Finding Neverland and Up, all of those fabulous scores. Unless we listen to a lot of soundtracks, our brains don't immediately go into, this is what musically is happening here. The, the music adds to the movie, it adds an extra element. It's not something that you come out and you go, I, I really noticed what they did musically here, what they did musically here. My favorite movies are ones where I come out and I didn't really notice the music. It blended so perfectly with the movie that it wasn't distracting. Each of these movies deserves its own unique score. It deserves to stand on its own. And John Williams isn't doing that, and I know they hire John Williams. They know what they're getting into. So it's not simply him. It's the whole culture of it. It's the, why don't we expect him to be as broad as we expect our actors or our directors to be? We expect everybody in Hollywood to show us all these different things that they can do. Why don't we expect it from our composers? Yes, he's done a lot to pave the way. All of these fabulous composers that now are more household names. I can give him credit for that, but I hate him and his scores. I look forward to seeing your rants. Hope mine wasn't too in your face. Feel free to disagree down in my pants because I know I just pissed a whole lot of you off. Hope to see you all next week. Don't kill me.